to SourceFed Nerd and this very special edition of SourceFed Plays Boss Monster. Yeah, boy! We're gonna play this freaking awesome game that is four, two to four players. Mm -hmm. And it's just like those classic uh, side-scrolling 8-bit awesome games, but you are the bad guy and you're building a dungeon. It uh, started out on Kickstarter and not only did they meet their goal, they got 15 times what they <laughs> asked for. So. It's pretty damn cool. Yeah, it's doing super well, and it's made by um, Brotherwise Games, which is Chris and Johnny O'Neill, and uh, I'm actually friends with Johnny O'Neill. Just saying, yeah, in right. real life. Sorry, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, it's a name you dropped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is. I'm gonna pick it right back up and bring him on in here. Johnny, come on yeah. in here! <laughs> 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 Johnny's actually going to be walking us through the game. Um, we, we've played a few practice rounds. He's going to be here to settle disputes when we get catty at one another. And I'm going to win. <laughs> no. OK, so Johnny, real quick for uh, the viewers at home, how does one play Boss Monster? All right, well, you start by choosing your boss. And we've already done that. Uh, so right now, we've got Steve as King Croak. Boom. Meg as Cerebellus, the father brain and Trish as Seducia, Sorceress of Sexiness. Mm. What you're doing in this game is you're building a dungeon of up to five cards, and the goal of your dungeon is to lure and destroy heroes. Uh, so every turn, we'll have heroes coming into town. We'll bid over sort of who gets them based on what treasure we have in our dungeon. Whoever's able to kill 10 heroes before five get through is the winner. Yeah! Right. It's gonna be me. We're ready. Let's do it. So before the game really starts, you get to build one room to make sure that you're not totally defenseless when okay. heroes show up. Okay. And uh, Steve gets to go first, actually, because he's uh, King Croak. But what everybody does is they play the rooms face down, uh, so nobody knows uh, what you're doing. So, so most XP villain goes first. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It says 800 XP. <laughs> All right. I'm putting this one down first. OK. Right. Everyone's got theirs down? All yeah. Right, now we reveal. Yeah. Boom. Boom. All right, what'd you get, Steve? So this one says that when you build this room, you can draw two spell cards and then discard a spell card. So oh, nice. Two spell cards. What'd you put down? Take a look at what we oh, got. Oh, the Neanderthal just, cave. Yeah. And then Trisha has the Brain Sucker Hive, which is uh, probably my favorite uh, room to have as the first room in the game. It says once per turn, if a hero dies in this room, you get to draw a spell card, which I'm is very be powerful. Getting some so. spell cards up in oh, here. This is tough, but I think I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna have to keep this one. And so the discard, discard pile will be up. face up. Boom, I'm starting Got the discard well, pile. Let's go there. there. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So now okay. heroes come to town, right? Yes. So what oh. happens is heroes show up, everybody gets oh, to draw gets a, to room, draw card. a room, card. room card. Oh, we draw a room card, okay. And uh, now <laughs> you get to uh, play a room card, same way, face down. Right now one of the questions is who's gonna try to win those mages or maybe avoid or those avoid mages. avoid those mages. Because they do six damage and each of you only have, you know, a couple points of damage. Ooh, this is, yeah, this is a little, it's a little uh, risky. Are we ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so flipsies. Boom. Boomsies. First, we figure out where these guys where are the going. Where the heroes are going. And yeah. at the moment, the mages yeah. are going to Steve. Both and of the, the mages. fighter is going to Steve. Oh, that's Steve true. Steve got all of them, and he's gonna. So that's because he has three books. <laughs> Which mages like, and he has <laughs> two swords. So yeah, this this could end the game really quickly, actually. But let's Steven. see how it goes. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna drop a plus three until the end of the turn card on this dungeon. On this one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do another one, and I'm gonna give one monster room uh, another plus three. Oh. So yeah. So centipede tunnels a monster room. It gets giant size. And Dark Laboratory is a trap room. It gets the Annihilator. Now so, you have an eight, and you beat all of those heroes. Mm -hmm. That's wow, right. Great job. Good Boom. job, Steve. I had a trick up my sleeve. Yeah, oh, you did. Sweaty it's like an idiot savant. Yeah, I'm nervous, because I'm sitting is next to sweaty? a pretty lady over here. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> is this the weirdest game This is great. Played with <laughs> the the best. Okay, okay, so now the heroes come heroes, to Three heroes. Here comes those heroes. No? Everybody uh, gets a room card now. All right, so I need to be careful because because uh, I, I kind of blew my load really. You did. But and I luckily had some treasure cards. All right, I'm ready. Okay, ready, guys? Yeah. Bye-bye. Yes. Mm. 
When I build this room, I get to choose one ordinary hero in the town and place it at the entrance of my dungeon. Wait, so do I, and I get to go before you. Damn it, she does. She's correct. You're taking that cleric, aren't you? Well, you are what they call a shithead. Steven. <laughs> Wait, Steven has, he, Steven's not gonna, boy, you can no, fight no. the cleric too. That's, you get, this t ability takes effect first, so you're Right, good. I was just gonna take, I was trying to take the mage away. But she'll take Steve's the mage, gonna take, yeah. But you guys tie, nobody gets the mage. But I played oh, the grab mimic vault okay, as great. well, so I'm gonna grab that magey. All right. Okay. Leaving now, you with the fighter. Oh, great. Steven, and the adventure phase begins. Um, okay, but before I do the adventure phase, I would like to um, use this assassin spell <laughs> and make him an 11. That's just mean. Yeah. Well, but he's got three souls already. <laughs> Good now, job, Meg. You are, you are allowed to wait until it's oh, at really? the very end. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I put the card down. Well, I'm going uh, to turn, I'm gonna turn this, freeze this room so you can't use it. What okay. up? That's fine. So go ahead and fight your adventurer. <laughs> and I'm gonna... Stevie goes first. Yep. Um. So you're 11? Yeah. We're okay. going to definitely turn it in. <laughs> okay. This cleric is a four, and uh -huh. then I have this, but I... um. I'm gonna pay exhaustion where I get to damage him for as many rooms as I have in my dungeon. Since two are active, that's four, and I kill him. Nice. Hey, yeah. Excellent math. Thank you. <laughs> Good job on what your What are you, some sort of math magician right. or something? And my mage yeah. is I'm gonna go through job. and get dinged one, two, and die in the brain sucker hive. So I'm gonna collect that soul, and when a hero dies in this room, I may draw a spell card. So I'm drawing a spell. Boom. Great job. Now, now more heroes. More heroes and, and more And everybody rooms. gets to draw a room card. You ready to Good. flip? Ready, one, two, flip. Boom. Boom. I got the Liger's Den. <laughs> I've got an advanced monster's room on top of my, my whatever this was, the open grave trap room. Nice. So just like he did, actually, this would go on top of an existing oh, room. Oh, like it's an vault. advanced one. Now I have a jackpot stack. You're trying to get that thief, aren't you, girl? I got that thief. I think, I think she did. So the thief is going to Meg, and the fighter in his checkered boxers is going to... Do I take it? Yeah, Steve. Yeah. And nobody gets and the mage. three, so nobody gets that Oh mage. man, that is a serious tie. Okay. So now we start action, so Steve, fight All right, Steve. so this man dies right here. Dead. You so got another got, soul. Got a soul. You have to Wow, four. you are pulling into the lead. I don't think Steve. anybody would have expected that. Bam. Okay. It's because I got the skills to pay the bills. My thief dies in my last room, so bling. He dead. I have two now. Okay, next turn. Four heroes in town. Okay. I have a question. Would the level up process, does that happen after this action phase or does it as soon as we build our fifth As round? soon as you build, the, that's when uh, level up abilities come into play. I got some spells to play. Do I play them before we flip? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Okay, so I would like to play a Princess in Peril. I'm gonna nice. cast that spell on the Thiefy which brings that thief to my place. Mm. And then Just I'm taking it from your clutches. also yeah. going to cast Motivation. If I have fewer rooms than an opponent, I may build an extra room this turn, so I've got my two flipped over right here. Let's Three. make them happen. Mm -hmm. right. Ready? Yeah, yeah Go for it. flip. Boom. Okay. Did you level up Steve? No, you did not. No. I did. So I'm I did too. What's your level up, Meg? I get a three spell cards and then I have to give one away. So level up abilities are powerful abilities that happen once per game when you hit your maximum of five linear rooms per dungeon. Okay, and I may search through the town or hero decks, choose a hero and put it at the entrance to my dungeon. Looks like I'm already getting that cleric. Wait, the mage one, is going to two. Me. You're not getting that cleric. I have two clerics. I also have two clerics. Oh, uh -oh. gosh darn. Well, uh -oh. then I'm gonna take that cleric. Nice move. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm definitely gonna get the thief. You're definitely getting the thief and the mage is coming to me, yes? So the thief, um, I'm mm -hmm. gonna play this giant size and I'm gonna give a plus Ooh. three to this monster room, so it's a six. So uh, he dies in this room and I collect his soul. And then, Trisha, I know, you're gonna try to play something to screw me go over. Go ahead, what do you have going okay, on Okay, well I've got a little thief who's gonna go through my dungeon and he dies in the liger's den and then my cleric is going through, and he's gonna die right here in the brain sucker hive. When he dies in that room, I get to draw a spell card. Okay, but before you do it again, I'm gonna freeze this room. Mm. So he, nobody will. Well, die I'm gonna counter spell that freeze. So oh, counter spell! Right on back, and I'm gonna Steve. resume drawing my spell card. So um, sassy. She's got a yeah. sass. Yeah, so yeah. Sassy. There is. There is. And since I played that counter spell once a turn, when I play a spell card, I get to draw a spell card. So I'm gonna. Get that there too. Really nice job. Thank you. It's almost as if your game skippy. was set up to be won. <laughs>
It's like the person who made the game chose her cards for her. I it's almost it. as if the person that made the game is friends with Trisha. <laughs> I, okay. would, I would call One, that a W two, with an asterisk. Three, mm -hmm. four. four. I'm putting in the record mm -hmm. books. Five, six, seven. How funny, again, it's gonna die in that powerful room. Or not. I might just have to take the wound on this one. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take the wound. Oh, All she's right. got a wound. So your first wound. My first wound. Trying to throw us off the scent. All right, <laughs> new turn. Three more guys. We all pick a room. Everybody take a room. So now I have five. So I can destroy so willy turn. nilly. Again, anytime you build an ordinary room, it can be over any kind of room. Build I think this, this is room. the one I'm putting down. I think that's a that's a good room. Can I destroy this at any time? You can if you want to. I want to destroy my jackpot stash. Wait, mm. I'm also gonna do that. To double the value of my treasure that's until cute. the end. So it's gonna make it four, but mine's gonna make it, I'm gonna have six. Dang. Why haven't you guys put down a new room? Well, because instead of putting a new room down, I'm gonna destroy this one and go through the discard okay. pile and put something in my hand. Meg, you have the room you're building? No, I destroyed instead of building. Well, you can destroy and build, right? Yes. Oh. She's kind of an expert at the rules, I feel like. Yeah, it's, it's so a weird. little interesting. <laughs> so weird. I didn't know how to play this game before today. That's true. So That's I'm gonna take truth. this. Why are you also... quoting Cloud Atlas? <laughs> What's Why not? happening? The true true. All right, so I have my room that I'll build. <laughs> Boom. I've got the Crushinator. Oh. Super <laughs> nice. No, that was a good Roseanne Barr impression. You just Technically, you can't play that card. So we'll just oh, play this shit. one. Sorry, Wait, I guess. Oh, shit. Wait, are you just going to go through hers and tell her which one she's playing? I know the Jedi mind trick. Hold no, on. We've this... known each other for four years. <laughs> Thank you, yes. We've known each this other for four years. This actually is not what I wanted to do. So it's not working yeah. out in my favor. Mm. It's not like he mm -hmm. did me a solid. Now we divvy out the things, right? right. Yes, yeah. we do. So the fool goes to whoever has the fewest souls, but that's tied. Mm -hmm, so and then the tied. cleric goes to Trisha. Cleric goes to me. And then the thief goes to me. The thief goes to Meg. Yeah. And I get nothing. Process your heroes. <laughs> okay, Meg, you go first. So I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he dies in this room. Nothing happens, but I do take a soul. Now we're all tied, aren't we? I go me? through. Oh no, we're you and I are tied. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this dude is gonna kill me. Oh no. I know, that's why I wanted that one. I'm, See what I was trying to do? I do. But it didn't work. I, I was breaking the rules. Heartbreaking. Oh, oh man. Trisha, no. I know. <laughs> I didn't no, design I have, this game. Now I have two wounds. WTF, This is improbable. Guys. This is not what I... Seducia is not doing well today. Okay, so we're about halfway through the game, and at this point, uh, everybody has four souls, except Trish, who has three, and the epic heroes have just come into play. <laughs> now, an epic hero has basically twice the uh, the power and twice the wounds, but is also worth twice the souls if you can kill them. The game should actually move really quickly so now. So we're in like double jeopardy. Yeah, you have to be careful about these epic heroes. You need some tricks usually to kill them. Double jeopardy, trademark, Sony, pictures, television. Well, now, now we're, we're gonna, gonna draw a room, card? draw a room yeah. card and we're gonna build. Are you okay? You feel good? I'm feeling good? One, that. two, three. Yeah. Boom. Steve, what did you play? Well, I got, I leveled up. Okay. Yay, what'd That's you right. put? <laughs> Yay! So, you know. so I search the room, deck, or discard pile for an advanced monster room, which I can immediately build. Cool, I found the Liger's Den! <laughs> Yay! And you can immediately Junk build cut. it. Yeah. Especially because that's going to send that advanced mage over to Trisha. And I built uh, an all-seeing eye room, which once per turn, when someone plays a spell card, I can discard a spell card, and it makes your spell card not work. I built uh, the Spectre Sanctum, which when I build this card, I choose an opponent to discard a random spell card, and I pick Meg, because she's so crafty <laughs> with them spell cards. You're a wonderful person. <laughs> <laughs> a wonderful person. Do you smell person. toast? <laughs> Since oh. it's still technically the build phase, before the build phase goes away, I would like to please cast Princess in Peril on the Cleric. So that it's comes like your 14th Princess in Peril card. To me. Technically, you should have done that before the rooms were revealed, but we'll definitely make an exception. We allow Yeah, it. why wouldn't we? <laughs> the Fool also goes uh, to, to me, Trish because only have three souls. she's losing right now. Where do these the big, fat epic heroes go? Oh, goes man. to Trisha. Fuck. Steve gets the fighter. Ooh, that was a great movie with Christian Bale. Okay, Steve, Steve you, you go, go first. first. Okay, well, uh, probably not gonna be able to survive <laughs> this one at all. You have a huge dungeon right now, but this guy does 13, and you don't have any tricks up your sleeves. So, let's see. One, two, three, Wait, that four, does one? 
five, because this gives the rooms adjacent oh, okay. to it, plus one. Nine, 10, 11, but not quite enough. Uh, Very close, but not quite. All right. So you get two wounds, Stevie. All right, I got two wounds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have my cleric start to go through my dungy. One, two, three, four, five, six. He dies right here, that's nice. Then the fool dies right here, that's also nice. I'm gonna cast the fear spell, choose a hero in any dungeon and put it back in town. I'm gonna put that little man right back in town, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that ends the turn. Card. That's a lot, oh my goodness, okay. Ooh, we're getting crazy. Right now, there's a lot of big mages out there, so you either need the tricks oh, to beat man. them, or you need to oh, cover I'm up your mage treasure Oh, I'm gonna die right fast. now. Gosh darn it. Okay, there's mine. Ready, one, two, flip. flip. I just built the same thing on top of itself. Okay. I didn't all right. have time to make it. Ooh, oh, you guys are gonna be all scared of my monster's ballroom. This room's damage is equal oh, to the number good, of monster Steve. rooms in my dungeon. So how many monster rooms do you have? One? 700. Five. Two. Are they all monster rooms? All of his wow. monster rooms. Monster rooms. Steve. Dang. Good call, dude. And I build a construction <laughs> zone, which when I build this room, I may immediately build an additional room. And I'm gonna build the crushinator on top of it as my Ooh, additional Ooh, the room. crushinator, great choice. Yep. Yep, yep. Also the name of a robot that will fuck people. The crushinator? That was really sees some pee. <laughs> really sees some pee. Okay. Sees some RP. Oh. Is it royal? Is that what the R is? Robot. Ah, all right. Okay. Now, now I'm gonna heroes. Who gets what? Okay, so for mages, I have two. All right, I got a shitload of I also have two. One. One. All right, mages are tied, so Good. cleric. Good, so no one gets that mage. The cleric, cleric is probably me. Four. Yeah, it's all you, girl. <laughs> Oops, okay. I have four. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm destroying the monstrous monument. Putting it right here in the discard pile. And then that's uh, use the crushinator until the end of turn. All my rooms have plus two. Uh, so that's gonna be four, eight, 12, 15. Thank you. And I destroy this. <laughs> mm. Nice. So I get two of these. Some people think that card's a little overpowered. So then we draw three more heroes? Yep. Let's Quick. do it. Let's do. I'm at seven souls. And we also get new room cards. Yes, we oh, do. Oh, man. Holy moly, Steve's gonna get that fighter. I'm gonna say this game's probably gonna end this turn. I don't think I'm oh. building any rooms this turn. Okay. You're not gonna build this turn? I'm not building. Okay. I am, I'm building this room. I'm building this room. Okay. Okay, we ready? All right, this could be the final turn. Three. Let's see. Hey, yeah. Ooh, Witch's Kitchen. I'm gonna steal all the mages because I have three books. So I'm gonna take all three okay. of these. Okay. All right, Meg. It's a ballsy move. Steve gets the fighters. I'll take those fighters, I'll fight them. And then um, you get the cleric? Uh, the cleric is actually now tied between Steve and I. Oh. So yeah. I've got five. Yeah. This is a five. Five plus mm -hmm. one is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 14, 15, 15 16, 17. 17. You don't need to do anything. You can oh, kill cool. anything in this game. That's I, one of the biggest dungeons I've ever seen. I killed actually. those fuckers. You got him. <laughs> Steve. How many souls do you have, Steve? Eight. <gasps> so really close. close. Dang. Yeah. So, I'm going to beat you girls. Once per turn, I can discard a, a monster room and draw a spell card. So I'm going to discard this and I'm going to draw a spell card. Okay. So we'll start with this dude. One, two, three, six, seven. seven. And then I'm going to, while he's in this Eight, nine, room. Eight, ten. Yeah. Destroy, destroy that. that. Destroy that. So it was seven, twelve, and then fifteen. So yeah. I kill him. To oh, you totally kill him. Should have did this guy. Does it work till the end of turn though? No, it's once oh, per turn. Just that one guy. You can um, keep feeding rooms keep, to it. Yeah, though. I'm gonna keep while well, I'm going to. The mage comes through here and then he gets to this crazy room and then I sacrifice this room. And then what's he? What is he? I'm at? still at a 15. Guess who's about to win this and game? And I'm gonna cast assassin on that guy and give him a plus three. So oh. you wait. He's already. I already killed him. So no, no, no. Steal that. Still that. I Okay, great. In the attack phase, we're in the attack phase, so I give him a plus three. So you've got 15, he's a 16. It's called the adventure phase, but other other than that, she was perfect. Okay, so then I'll take the wound on this dude. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Once per turn when you play a spell card, I can discard a spell card to cancel its effect. So I'm gonna do this. Ooh. And you're gonna take your Oh, away. you're right, and girl. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna use my laggers down to get another spell. Uh-oh, then this, this could be it. This could be it. Is Tony gonna win? I'm gonna destroy this room. Go for it. And then I'm gonna win. And I'm gonna say, suck it, Trisha Hirschberger! Oh. Yay, Danny! Very nice. Woo -woo. I'm sorry. That's okay. And you were really you guys close. gave it your best. You gave we it your best. You did. You did our best conspirators. I'm gonna play the brain sucker high. All right. Good job.
up, Stevie. Well, Johnny, thank you so much for joining yeah. us here. Yes. Thank you for having place. me. Thank you for showing us Boss Monster. I'm sure we'll be killing each other over this game very soon. So. Yeah, we're very excited <laughs> to keep playing this. Yeah, this yeah. is really cool. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us on SourceFed Plays. Uh, if you want to get more information on Boss Monster, where can they go? Uh, you can get it at thinkgeek.com, uh, mm -hmm. you can get it at brotherwisegames.com, uh, or you can see it uh, at your local uh, game store. So, uh, game stores all over North America uh, right now have it. So, yeah, that's usually the best place to go. That's awesome. Very cool. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the annotation. Check out the new For Human People's channel, Human People's channel, For Human People's, one of those. <laughs> you can just type all those in and see where they go. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Johnny O'Neill. Yeah, and I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Yeah. Did you say for Pullman people? For Pullman people. For Puma people. Some people. Puma people. Sometimes people, people make people. mistakes. All right, let's put away our toys Listen, now. the Puma peoples live in the Himalayas, and Do they? they don't give a shit about you, and they'll kill you for food.